All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I'm an interventional radiologist in the Garden State, New Jersey. You probably saw from the title that I'm finally happy, and I kind of want to get to that, but I'll first start from where this all began and why I'm even doing this video in the first place. So in 2000, what was it 2009? I don't know. Babe, what? When did I finish? 2007? I don't remember. So in 2009, I was working for a real estate company doing property management, and I was essentially a leasing specialist, and then went on to be an analyst, and et cetera, et cetera. Just usual corporate world kind of stuff, and I was very unhappy with my job. I spoke about this on many numerous videos before, but I kind of just wanted to reiterate in case you haven't seen it, but I talked about it on why I quit the corporate world for medicine, link up here, and I probably touched on it a few other times in other videos. So at that time in 2009, I really had no idea what I was going to do. The only thing I actually knew is that I didn't like my current job and I didn't like the whole corporate world and working in that kind of environment. It just wasn't for me. And I ultimately had no idea what I wanted to do, which is why I'm kind of making this video because a lot of you are probably in similar situations, especially in your younger 20s, just finished college, don't like the career they started, et cetera, et cetera. This is like such a common issue and I get asked this question all the time. What should I do? Should I become a doctor? Where should I go next? I'm so lost, et cetera, et cetera. And I just wanted to make this video because I was in those exact same shoes. I literally felt everything you're feeling right now, like to a T. I had no idea what I wanted to do. I had no plan. I had no real training in anything but the business that I was working for. And that was it. So I was like, where do I go from here? So even though I dogged on them in one of my videos, link up here, I went to Student Doctor Network because I knew I was interested in science. My brother's a veterinary neurologist. My younger brother, who is also pre-med. I thought, well, maybe I should do something science related. So I started looking into it, eventually decided on medicine. And it was at that time that looking back on it now was kind of a crazy decision because I literally would research for hours on end how to get into med school, what I need to do to get into med school, what courses I need to take, how to be competitive, all this stuff, hours and hours and hours researching. And eventually I made up my mind on a whim, honestly, I was gonna try my shot at med school. And the crazy part about it all was, babe, she went outside. And the crazy part about all of it is I had no plan B. I just went all systems go, put everything I had into getting into med school, and I never even thought about what would happen if I didn't get into med school. I had no backup plan. At the time, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna fail, but which I guess is a good mentality, but now that I look back on it, it was kind of stupid, but I'm glad I kind of did it because you always hear of those people who are successful on the internet and they tell you, you have to just commit 100% to something if you really want it. And I didn't know I was doing it at the time, but that's exactly what I was doing. I gave it 100% and I had no other plan but to get into medicine and become a physician. That's what I wanted. That's what I was going to do. So fast forward all the pre-med years, fast forward all of the late night studying, fast forward my mom allowing me to move home with her for a few years while I got my feet on the ground and figured out this whole med school thing. Fast forward, getting accepted to med school, moving to New York City, working at Mount Sinai Hospital before I went to med school, fast forward to med school, and then fast forward through med school, six years of residency afterwards, and here I am, finally an attending physician almost three months into my job, and I can finally say for the very first time, in my entire life that I finally feel settled. I finally feel like things have come together. I finally feel like I've like made it, whatever that means. And I finally feel happy. And that's ultimately the goal of all of this, right? Is to be happy. And I can finally say I'm just happy. I was kind of thinking about it after I went on this trip to Italy with Andriana. And it kind of got me thinking, it's like, wow, I worked so hard. And I think the reason I have this travel bug now is one, because of the pandemic kind of prevented us from traveling and you know I love traveling if you've watched any of my videos in the past. And two, I feel like there's been this delayed gratification kind of thing going on with all the medical training. You spend all this time, 14 years by the way, 10 years of it in medical training, doing nothing but studying and focusing on medicine and learning the craft. And then when you're done, you finally have the funds, A, to travel, and B, you finally have the time to travel. So I'm like trying to get as much as it all in as I possibly can. And my time in Italy, like 
literally changed my life. I know I said in my last video that I was going to move to Italy. The reason I said that is because I loved it so much I could definitely see myself living there. Shout out to any Italy IR docs out there. Let me know if you need a spot. I'll come do a little few month rotation there in Florence or something. But the point I'm trying to make in this video is not to kind of brag like, oh, I'm finally a physician. I'm finally an attending interventional radiologist. Oh, I'm finally successful, all that stuff. And that's couldn't be further from the truth. The point of this video is for the people who were in my shoes in the past, like I mentioned prior. I want you to see that if you put in the hard work and if you just go for it, you'll be so much happier in the end. And for some reason, I never looked back. I just kept pushing forward. I never thought, was this the right thing? Was this the right decision for me? What if I don't make it? I never questioned it at all. I just kept moving forward. And I think that's what helped me so much. I just stayed positive. Even when times were tough, even when attendings were yelling at me and I was so angry and I was stressed out and the workload was too much and I was sleepless, I just kind of kept pushing forward because I knew it would be worth it in the end. And I can finally say it is 100% worth it in the end. It just is. When you've worked for something this hard and you finally get to experience the fruits of your labor, it just feels different. It hits different, as the kids say. You earned it. And now I'm here, I love my job, I love the people I work with, I have ample time off, as you can see, I can travel, I can do whatever the heck I want to, and it's all because I put in all of those years of hard work. And it's a simple equation. Hard work, dedication, equals success whatever success means to you. So that's pretty much all I wanted to kind of get across in this video, that I'm finally happy. I'm not trying to be braggadocious about it. I'm just trying to say that it is worth it in the end, I promise you, especially for those of you who are in med school and who are in residency and all that stuff, it is totally worth it in the end. You just have to get through it and it's so much better on the other side. I'm literally enjoying life. I love life right now. I've never been happier. Andriana and I have never been happier together. It's a beautiful thing. So hopefully this can motivate some of you all if you're in a rut. And I know I've been in plenty in my last decade plus of training. So if you are in a rut, watch this video. Maybe it'll motivate you to keep pushing forward because it's ultimately worth it in the end. So on that note, I'm going to go book my next vacation, which I just posted that I want you to kind of tell me where you think I should go because I got that travel itch now. I'm just ready to go. So, as always, make sure you smash the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And uh, I'll see you all on the next video. Hopefully there's a good travel vlog coming up soon. Bye.